What's up YouTube, got a video for you on how to get the Game Boy on your Android phone. This method does work for Android 2.3 or higher. I know Game Boy before wasn't working for that, we were having troubles with it, but I found a version that works. Uh, the first thing you want to do is plug your phone into your computer and set it on disk drive. You should get a folder that looks something like this. You should have all your folders in it for your phone. Once you get that, go onto the internet and go to the link I'll post before. It's foreshared.com. This will give you the Game Boy uh, application itself and you can just download that. I already downloaded it right here. So, next thing you want to do is go to your email and you want to email this to yourself using your Gmail. Okay, yeah, you want to email this to yourself. So, just go to your Gmail and for me I'll just open this or maybe not okay well I put it somewhere else alright so you just email it to yourself I'll just attach the files give me one second and right here put that in there email it to yourself and the next thing you need to do is download your BIOS folder which I'll also post a link for in the video Okay, so once you get that there, send that to yourself. Make sure you send it to whatever Gmail account is on your phone. Download your BIOS folder, like I did right here. I'll just pop that open, show them folder. And I should already have mine downloaded, but I'll just show you for the fun of it. Put that on your desktop. Yeah, see, I already got mine on there. I'll keep both files. Let's just do that. So. Once it's on there, then you want to go to your phone hard drive that I mentioned before and just put that anywhere in your phone that you want to. I got mine right here, Android BIOS folders, and that's all you have to do for that part of it. And since we're already got our phone plugged in to your computer, you can download ROMs and you can put the ROM right on your phone while you got it set up already connected to your computer. I use coolroms.com and you can see just the first one's Pokemon Red, so we'll just do that one. I already have it downloaded and just download it. You're going to have to unzip it, I believe. And I use WinZip. You can use whatever program you want to just unzip it. And when it gets unzipped, it should look like this. Or not like that, like this. And that's really all you need. Go back to your phone. When you're in your phone, make a new folder. And call it... You know, just call it uh, GBA Games. I already got one. Okay, let me just find my GBA right there. It's just called GBA Games. I already got a game in there. Take your take your game and put it in there. I'll just take the whole folder and put one in there. And there you go. You have that game in there. And once that's done, you can go ahead and close that out. You won't need that anymore. And the next thing you want to do is go back to your phone and put it back into uh, charge only mode. I'm just going to pause the video real quick and put mine on the screen because I can't do it while it's connected like this. So just give me one second. Okay, so once it's in your phone, it should look some. This, this is what my phone looks like. Go to your Gmail app. And this is the easiest way to do it is using your Gmail app. Go ahead and open your app. And when you use your app, it'll say install. So it makes it a lot easier. Just click install. Let it fetch the file. Just give it a second. So this is going to install another one. Well, I already have another one on there, but I'll just say yes. You'll get this screen. Just click install. And there you go. And I'll just hit open. And yours will probably look something more like this. You're going to have to select your BIOS folder, which will be this one right here. It should be your first one if you download from the link I gave you. And select that. And then your BIOS will be selected, and you won't have to worry about that. Then you select Games. Scroll down until you find the folder you made called GBA Games. And just find mine. I pass it. Here, GBA Games. You can see I got Pokemon and Mario. We'll just click on Pokemon for now. Pokemon Fire Red. Click on that. And... There you go, start it up. There you go. 
know, it's going to look a little glitchy. This is not how bad it looks on the phone. This is just because I am screenshotting my phone onto my computer. It slows it down a little bit. It runs just smooth. I'm running the Evo 3D. If you turn your phone, you get the sideway view just like this. And there you go. You have it on your phone. If you want to close it now, this is where some people are getting confused. You want to hit your menu button, which should be down here somewhere, right underneath your screen. It should have three lines to it uh, next to your home button. Just click on that so this menu pops up. And go down to more. And then hit close. Or you can screenshot it if you want. But hit close. Close will shut it off, and you'll be back to this. And you're done. So there you go. That's how you put it on your your phone. For I'm running 2.3. And it works just fine on mine. I'll even show you guys uh, Super Mario. And I'll pass it again to now. I gotta stop doing that. Yeah. Super Mario's harder because you can't hit over B and A all at the same time. It only acknowledges two of the three. And again, it's not running this this choppy on the game. It's actually running smooth. I wish I could show you guys, but this is the way I'm showing you. Go ahead and just cross out of that. Single player. Super Mario World. Go ahead and click on that. Start new. And you'll get this. Um, I'll just go into settings real quick to show you some of the things. This is where your guy, your BIOS folder will be selected. You don't have to worry about that. Audio and video settings. I checked off sound. If your phone is running real slow, go ahead and chop take off sound. I just took it off because I don't care about Nintendo's stupid music anyway. You got all these other ones, fast forward, speed, frame skip. I just left all this the same way it was and just worked with it and it worked just fine. Uh, input settings, key mapping, things like that. I just left all mine because I'm okay with the way mine is. Other settings, yeah, I got all that. And then just to close it out, just more and then close. There you go. There's a video. Please give it a thumbs up. Any questions, go ahead and leave a comment. I'll post all the links so you can download everything I just showed you, including Super Mario World or whatever other games you want. The, the bombs website I sent you will work. It's got a whole bunch of ROMs. I use it for everything else. And if you haven't been to our Facebook yet, go ahead and like our Facebook page, facebook.com, tips for Android. I'll post that link below too. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching.